Why are my eyes so bloodshot? Whenever I sit here and do this, I just like look at my eyes and I'm like, ugh, why? I didn't, like, I'm not high. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to challenge myself with all of the makeup I had to see if I could pull drugstore makeup that was under $5. I think I have a pretty good array here, and the reason I wanted to do this is because I feel like none of us are going anywhere, we really don't have a reason to do our makeup, so if we are going to play or we are going to do our makeup, it's probably going to be for fun, so we don't want to spend a lot of money on stuff, so if you wanted to try something new and you wanted to see how I'm going to do this kind of golden smoky eye um, that's pretty beat and pretty glam. You can do it with really cheap stuff. I'm sorry for the sound of my voice. I've been sick for like three weeks. I'm just starting to get over it and I have the energy to film and I'm bored and I wanted to do something fun. So we're gonna play with makeup, all drugstore, under $5. Let's do this. First things first, I'm gonna put on lip balm because I feel like I can't get enough of it. This is my holy grail at the moment, the Blistex Medicated Lip Balm, but it's like the blue packaging and it's more of a gel consistency. This stuff is phenomenal. I feel like regular chapstick, like regular chapstick brand, it just doesn't work for me. There's like, it feels like there's salt in it or something. It dries my lips out more, but this just really keeps them hydrated. I keep it on my nightstand and literally wake up in the middle of the night. And if I wake up, I put it on and wake up with hydrated lips because it's that bad. So you guys know I like to start with eyes. So we are gonna kick it off with our eyes today. I'm gonna pull up here. I have my little pricing cheat sheet. So, we are starting things off today with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I love the regular um, camo concealer. I tried this once. I feel like I wasn't obsessed, but I want to try it again because I also feel like it was the summer and I don't <clears throat> need that much hydration in the summer, but I want to dip back into this. This is in the shade Fair Warm and we're just going to start coating our lids just to even out the base, cancel out any redness and discoloration. This is also $4.99 at Walmart. And then we're going in with our e.l.f. Beauty Sponge, which I left downstairs. I'll be right back. And we're back. We have our e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. I'm obsessed with this beauty blender and it is only $5. But let me tell you, this is one of the best beauty sponges I have ever used. It probably puffs up to like three times the size when wet. It's just beautiful. So we're just gonna blend this concealer out with our beauty sponge, and then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in, and we will get started on this eyeshadow. Alrighty guys, I did one eye off camera, and now we're gonna start our other eye. So let's zoom on in and get started. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. This is used and abused, but it is $5 and it's incredible. So this thing is definitely a dupe for the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and it works phenomenal. For a drugstore palette, this is like one of the best I've ever used. There's a lot of kickback and like, like from the pan when you dip in, but the eyeshadows blend like a dream. And honestly, that's really my only concern when I'm choosing an eyeshadow. So I don't really care about fallout or anything. I don't really get fallout on the skin. I start with the eyes anyway, which is like, you know, why I do it that way, but it they blend like a dream. So we're gonna start out by going in with this shade right here. It's a little bit more of the cool tone transition. And we're gonna start stamping this in our crease. And now I'm just going in with that other transition color, which is slightly warmer, because I do want to add a little bit of warmth into this crease. Not quite only one over the other. I kind of want to make a hybrid between the two because I want to add shadow and depth with that cool tone transition. And then I want this to be the warmth because we are going in with gold. So I do want to bring in warmth into the eye and into this transition, which don't be afraid to blend out past where we want because we're gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe. This is also on a uh, Morphe M5 
seven three and now i'm actually gonna grab my tried and true this is my mac 224 and this is my holy grail for buffing out edges and making sure everything is super seamless okay now i'm gonna dip into this cool tone darker brown right here on a just a flat packing brush and this we are going to pack all over our lid. So the reason I'm packing this all over the lid is obviously this is a smoky eye and we're gonna go in with the gold on top, but I want to give this gold kind of a darker base to go onto so it's not really uber bright and shiny. I want it to almost mix with this brown a little bit just so we still get that smokiness and depth underneath the gold and it's not too bright and clean. I don't really want it to look like a, you know, intense cut crease. Now I'm going to switch to my MAC 224 and blend out those edges with this. I'm not going to try to use that same brush we put the color on with because it, it's going to get too messy. I always switch to a clean brush to blend that out. And now we're going to go in with black. So unfortunately there's no black in that Wet n Wild palette, but dip into any black. I'm just going to go into a black I'm holding with the palette I'm currently using. And we're going to build this up on the outside third of our lid. And really do not be afraid to stamp this on. And we will go in with a blending brush after. Make sure everything is nice and diffused. And don't be afraid to bring this past where we want it to go because we can clean it up. And instead of using that MAC brush, the 224, I'm going to go in with that first brush we dipped into our transitions with because I want a little bit of that transition color on this brush because it's going to help blend that black when there's another color on this brush rather than it being totally clean. Using color to blend out color is a really good trick, especially when you're going in with deeper, darker shades. It can be really hard to put a dark shadow on the eye and then try to just blend and blend and blend with a clean brush because it's going to start looking a little muddy or streaky. So you want to be able to go in with a brush that has maybe a lighter transition color on it and that's going to really help marry your edges and kind of blend everything seamlessly. Okay, so I'm happy with that for now. I think we might go back in and add a little bit more black after our gold, but I don't want to overdo the black until I see the gold. So for gold, we're going to go in with, this is a Makeup Geek Shadow, beautiful gold color. It is in Magic Act, and we're going to use this as our star of the show. That is also $5. And this we're going to take and just press on our lid. We're not going to bring it too high up into the crease because we will use a brush to diffuse the edges. And don't be afraid to bring it pretty far over on top of the black because we are going to blend this now as well as go back over with black to kind of fix uh, any dimension we lost. So now with the blending brush, this is a Morphe M433. I'm gonna very lightly go over our edges here just to make sure we are soft and blended. And now that we have the gold in a place that we're happy with, we're gonna go back in with the black and we're just gonna add back in any dimension we lost when putting that gold on. So now that our eyes are done, I'm going to go in with mascara. This is the Essence I Love Extreme. This is $4.99. Unbelievable mascara. This is the waterproof, I believe. Um, nice big brush. This is really beautiful on the eyes and really does give you such full lashes. But because I'm extra and that's not enough for me, we are using lashes today. This is in uh, the brand Carity in the style Kobe. So I'm just going to pop on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back.
Alrighty, now that we're done with our eyes, we're going to go in with primer. So we have two options. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Kills Pores. This one I know is $4.99. The only problem with this one is I don't know if they make this anymore or I think they repackaged it in a squeeze tube. I don't know if it comes in the pot anymore. So if you want to get the squeeze tube, this, I know the Catrice primers are great, but I wanted to give you an option for the putty. This is cheating. This is $8, $7.99 at Walmart, but um, this does the same thing, and I know they still make this one. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Really beautiful whip texture, and we really want to make sure we're getting this in our T-zone and the nose where we have our enlarged pores or any kind of texture because this smooths everything out like an absolute dream. For foundation today, I'm super excited about this. We are going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, but this is in the newer formula, the Dewy. I have used the matte before and I absolutely love it. Ooh, don't tear, girl. Um, but the Dewy, I've tried this once already and I'm in love with it. The skin looks beautiful when it's on. It is really full coverage. It just hides texture, pores, blurs, Let's get into it. And we're gonna go ahead and take this on our Ulta Precision Foundation Brush. I love this brush, just the contouring of it. It's one of the best finds I've ever came across, thanks to my friend Kevin. I do like to take this foundation on the back of my hand, just because I feel like it gives me a little bit more control over how much product I'm using. So I like to put everything on with our foundation brush, and now we're just gonna press everything in with our Beauty Blender. I think doing um, the brush first really just helps build up coverage and then going in with the Beauty Blender afterwards just kind of makes everything melt and marry into the skin rather than trying to just blend it out with one over the other. I also forgot to mention the shade of this foundation is Soft Ivory. So now that our foundation is blended out, we are gonna go in with concealer. So on the face today, we are using the e.l.f. 24 hour concealer and this is in um, the matte formula, not the hydrating formula, also $5. I wanted to use this one um, because the $5 Wet n Wild foundation is the dewy formula, so I don't want to like overdo it with hydrating and dewiness. I kind of want to balance it out with a more full coverage matte concealer just to kind of counterbalance that uh, dewy foundation. Okay guys, now that our concealer's blended out, we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, and I took this on a very pinched, fluffy brush, and just set the under eyes for the moment. I don't wanna do the whole face yet, because we are gonna go in with a cream contour, and I don't wanna get powder all over the skin yet, because we wanna leave that um, skin dewy and liquid, so that our cream contour can blend out, and then we'll go in and set everything with the translucent powder everywhere. That translucent powder, um, the Wet n Wild, how much is the setting powder? It is $5.99. I know sometimes I found it for $4.99 at Walmart, so keep an eye out for that. For cream contour today, we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Cushion Contour. I love this thing. It is so hydrating. It has a beautiful sponge and just like really creamy, blends out like a dream. Um, this is in the shade uh, Cafe ou Slay. I think that's how you say it. That is also $4.99 at Walmart. So we are going to take a little bit of this around the forehead, connecting with our brows, and switch to our Beauty Blender and blend this out with our Beauty Blender. I like using the same Beauty Blender because there's still foundation on the sponge, and I just think it kind of marries with that cream contour a little bit better than switching. And I don't like to blend out a cream contour with a brush either because I just think the brush will move the foundation too much. It's like we spend all of that time blending out that foundation perfectly. We don't want to go back in with a brush and aggravate any texture or maybe even peel up some foundation if it's on some temperamental skin. I don't want to go overboard with the cream contour today because we are going to go back in with a powder after. And whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to run under the jawline. I don't want to add too much here because 
I would rather go in with powder, especially because our foundation was a little bit darker uh, than our neck because I wanted to add a little bit of a tan into it. So I will warm up our neck with our powder bronzer and hide my quarantine double chin. Okay, now that we have our cream contour blended out, we're gonna go in with that Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder in translucent and put a little bit into the lid on a nice fluffy brush. This is a BH Cosmetics powder brush and swirl. Hoo hoo. Gonna go ahead and press this into our skin. This really is such a beautiful translucent powder. I can't say enough good things, especially for people who are drier or have more just texture and difficulty uh, finding a setting powder that doesn't make the skin look dry or textured in any way. It, this is just like some of the most beautiful finely milled blurring powder I've ever used. And now another beautiful drugstore powder we're gonna go in with is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is also $4.99 and one of the most amazing powders for bringing like brightness and highlight back into the skin if you feel like your setting powder kind of took it away too much. So anywhere we want to bring brightness back, we're gonna go ahead and press this in. And it also blurs the skin and just makes the skin look beautiful while adding that highlight back in. And now that the skin is set, we have a little bake going on in the nose. We're gonna go in with bronzer. This is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. And we're gonna take this and warm up our complexion a little bit. This is a really beautiful, warm, sunny bronzer. I would say I like this bronzer a little bit more in the spring and summer. I wish it was slightly more cool toned, but for the price. And for blush today, we're gonna go in with the Pro Fusion Blush One Palette. This entire palette, like all six shades, is $5, which is insane. And there's a Blush Two Palette. Um, I haven't gotten that one. I always feel like whenever I go into Target or Walmart, like Pro, Pro Fusion is wiped, probably because it's affordable and pretty good. But the um, shade we're going in with is Popular. Oh, these blushes are so beautiful. They just have the most perfect sheen where it adds that glow back into the skin without being too much. And this shade is just everything. Oh. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. So we are gonna dip back into our Wet n Wild palette and we're gonna go in with the Cool Tone Transition shade here on a nice flat defined brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. Taking a little bit of this and we're gonna smoke this out on our lower lash line. And now we're gonna dip into that darker cool tone brown and just smoke that out on the outside half of the bottom lid. Why are my eyes so bloodshot? Whenever I sit here and do this, I just like look at my eyes and I'm like, ugh, why? I didn't, like, I'm not high. Okay, now we're gonna take a little bit of the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is also $4.99. I like this one on the bottom lashes because it has a nice small brush so it doesn't kind of get too messy down here. I feel like when I use too fat of a brush like we did on top, it just, it gets out of hand real quick. And for highlighter today, we're gonna go in with the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is also $4.99 and it is one of the most beautiful like natural highlighters I've ever used where if you just want the most real glow to the skin without it being too blinding, it's gorgeous. And now for lip liner, we're gonna go in with Morphe Sugar Pie. This is a beautiful brown based liner and this is also $4 I wanna say. So now that I lined and filled the lips, we're gonna go in with the my all-time favorite, Milani Keep It Full Lip Glosses in Champagne. This is $8.99, I believe. Sorry, not quite $5, but we wanna lighten up this inside and nothing is better than this. Okay guys, our lipstick is on and I think we are 
done. I am so happy how this look turned out. I've been dying to do a really kind of just grungy, smoky eye. Um, yeah, and this is exactly what I had in mind. I'm really excited that I managed to find everything under like $6, $7, $8, 95% of everything we used in the video was under $5. Um, I'll try to link everything down below if I have time, but um, I had so much fun doing this tutorial for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, as well as subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, make sure to hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every single time I post. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful evening. I hope you stay safe and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.